Hey there everybody, how are you? Don Evans here from BlackReport.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Blacklist Streetmatic. Now, some of you might remember last year I did a review on the prototypes. These are still kind of prototypes, more pre-production pieces. The, they are actually in production right now as we speak. And at the time uh, that you are watching this video, they are also up on Kickstarter for pre-order. Uh, through the Kickstarter campaign process, and there'll be a link in the description below. So there's some changes from the prototype from last year. Uh, changes, in my opinion, mostly upgrades. And um, so I'm going to give you the specs here, and I'll give you the uh, range of price. You're looking at between $399 and $450, depending on variation of the model. I believe there will be five models, as you can see. I have two of them here with me, and uh, we'll talk about them here, of course, in a second. You're looking at a 44 by 50 millimeter case, 22 millimeter lugs. It is a Miyota 9015 automatic movement that will be uh, in these watches, and of course, a sapphire crystal. These two versions that I have in front of me have the carbon fiber dials, this one the blue carbon fiber, and of course, this black and gold. There's only one version that's not going to be carbon fiber, and I believe it's like a silver white dial. So the changes that you're looking at, one of the biggest things is it's an all brushed steel case and bracelet now, whereas before there was, it was like half and half with a high polish in the bracelet and the case. Uh, the only part of the case on the stainless models that stayed high polish is the crown and I'll show you a better look at that in a second here. So 399 to 450 uh, carbon fiber automatic movement sapphire crystals let me show you now uh, you know of course I showed you a shot on my seven and a half inch wrist here let me give you a better look at it before I uh, uh, take it off the wrist and we'll walk around the dial. So you can see, you know, 44 by 50, that's a very good size. It's not oversized. 50 millimeter lug to lug, I know will make a lot of guys very happy, especially if you have a uh, smaller wrist. Okay, so let's, uh, let's talk about some of the upgrades on the watch. And uh, we'll do a walk around here on the case. As I said, the only part that is left high polish is parts of the crown here you can see it has a nice engraved crown very nice brush finishing now as i said these are actually in production right now um, he is not waiting until uh, the campaign is over to start production uh, production is already underway um, i do not know exactly offhand i don't want to quote the wrong number how long it's going to be until these are produced but being in production already should shorten it uh, considerably uh, for the guys that are um, pledging on the campaign so you do have these beautiful carbon fiber dials you have applied markers especially that well they all really stand up on the dial as you can see but that 12 and 6 is very prominent they are all coated with super luminova as well 22 millimeter bracelet it's a very nice solid oyster style bracelet with solid end links the end links do make it bow out just a little bit just so you're aware you do have screw in links that is one of the upgrades uh, from the prototype i reviewed last year that had friction pins one of the bigger upgrades in my opinion is this clasp uh, for anybody familiar with strap code this is a strap code clasp so you have six micro adjustments there which is awesome you have the flip lock and a push button clasp very very nice very solid very sturdy good looking in my opinion and useful so if i open it back up here and we'll give you a look at the case back 
it is a sapphire crystal on the case back as well and you can see that they did the rotor in black just to give it a little contrast and a little flare to the movement these are 200 meters water resistant as well and do have a screw down crown which show the black model off here a little bit so you have that black carbon fiber dial with the gold hands and indexes there's your case back again on this one notice how he went with stainless steel on this case back as well as opposed to the pvd that just reduces scratches if uh, the watch ever needs to be opened up you know scratching or marring the pvd coating uh, always a good idea as I said, these are a screw down crown. Very nice, solid and sturdy crown as well. So when you're looking at these, you know, what's nice to me about this style of watch is it's a segment that's not uh, overly um, abundant out there and when I say that what I mean is you know obviously when you let's just concentrate on the micro brand watch world you have um, you know a lot of dive watches every company does a dive watch for the most part and then if they're not doing a dive watch, they're doing a pilot watch. And maybe they're doing a field style. And sometimes, you know, you got the avant-garde, over-the-top style stuff. You know, the Street Racer, or excuse me, Street Matic, the Blacklist Street Matic, is really more of a, you know, luxury uh, or high-end car-inspired timepiece. It's, it's a sport timepiece. So it's kind of racing, it's kind of high-end luxury cars, you know, with the carbon fiber and uh, the color options that you can get. And uh, so it's a nice sporty watch. Um, you know, they're, it's using good quality materials. It's coming in at a very good price point, in my opinion. I don't know what the retail price point will be after the Kickstarter campaign. I'm going to imagine it'll probably be somewhere in the $650 range or somewhere around there. Which, comparatively, if you pay attention to what's on the market in the microbrand world, that's not super high and it's not super low either. It's kind of right in between uh, where many of them sit, um, you know, without mentioning uh, other brand names or anything. So I think Justin uh, from Blacklist did a very good job with these. Um, they look good, in my opinion. Uh, everything, you know, the fit and finish is very nice. I, you know, these are pre-production pieces to me on loan. I have uh, worn them and sized them, and uh, I've really not had any, any issues uh, with uh, the quality or the finish of the watch. Uh, it's been keeping time uh, pretty much on par with what most Miyota 9015s do. Um, you know, uh, I'm not a crazy accuracy fanatic. I know some guys really are. These have been about, uh, you know, 10 seconds plus a day, which is more than in spec with the Miyota 9015. So if you like what you see here and you want to go check out the campaign, there's a link in the description down below. And uh, I, I think he's done a great job. I wish him success and uh, hopefully his campaign uh, gets funded and, uh, you know, you guys will have these watches on your wrists in a few months. So this has been a look at the Blacklist Streetmatic. As always, follow us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave a like or a comment here on YouTube. Please be respectful. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. Uh, quick plug here. Um, I will be making an official announcement on our YouTube channel soon. But if you haven't seen it yet, go check out uh, the new Watch Report website. It's been all redesigned. This has been Don Evans for WatchReport.com showing you the Blacklist Streetmatic, and I'll see you guys on the next video.